morning guys Danny Miller red one systems and just a couple of little tips for you here on the Ultrex I ran a three-quarter inch thick ABS all the way underneath this so I could get over the top of that bezel it also allowed me to turn it a little bit to keep my Ultrex all the way inside the boat which makes it nice and that little guy right there is called a troll lock from TH Marine, which allows me to not use that big long leg that attaches. And I really like it. I think it's I think it's a good way to keep this motor from going up and down. And also one little screw right here is just enough to hold this guy up to where you can fish with it until you're ready to run hard. Then pull it back. So good morning guys, and we are going to install the new Ultrex Red One system cable system on this trail water this morning. Everything comes in the kit. And I actually changed mine up with a little heat shrink for my aluminum handle. I like that. It's got a nice soft feel to it, and it may cushion anything that it might drop onto. All right, get started. We've got to undo this bad boy. Alright, first thing you gotta do is you gotta pull this whole front off. And there is one Allen screw that holds that on. Right in the top. You just take your Allen wrench. is pretty heavy so I do recommend having a buddy come help you out but most of mine are working today so once that's out that's it just hang on to that it'll go back on and use your strap you're gonna hold this so this doesn't fly up on you when you take this off. So I like just lay down a little towel so I can set it up on here. Or you can lean it up against your boat, up against the trailer. So this bad boy is just going to lift straight off. All right, once you get this bad boy released, in order to release it, you just gotta hold this down and then you can pull this cable straight out and it'll let this come up. Just remember to put the strap on so it doesn't fly up on you. So then what you gotta do is feed this end, of this cable, out of here. It's got a big ball on the end. I don't like it, it gets hung up in there and I can't seem to get it to release as good. So the, the new cable will help that. So take a little Allen wrench. There's two little screws on it. These happen to be very loose. So that comes off. 
that's exactly what it is. Goes right on top of that. So follow your little path where the cable, the old, new, old cable comes out, just like that. This will come right out the top, just like that. All right, so then you're gonna take your new cable and it's got a nice big washer on the end. It's thinner, fits down in that slot really good. So you just feed that bad boy right in there. And you have to come out the side. Like that. Once you come out the side, then this has to go up to allow it to slip over into the slot. Just like that. Come back here. Allow this to come up. So now you're in. Next thing, you're going to take your little sleeve. This little guy is polished on this end and this end. So that really helps with your cable coming up and coming out. So there's a little E-clip that you pull off. You're gonna leave that washer on the top and it's gonna fit right in that top hole. Just like that. And then you're gonna put your E-clip back on. So, we've got our handle on our motors back up on the deck again. So now we're gonna install our first handle holder. And there's two holes up on the top of this motor. Um, I don't like to put them up. And the reason is, if, if you come here to put your cover on your boat, you're gonna have a problem with this or with this. So what I do, is I put it right here. It's off the side, it's not in the way, you can still get your cover to smoothly go over this edge. So the kit comes with a bolt, fits this hole up here on this top, and it's got the angle, everything is attached already with this particular holder. So put this bad boy in. And it's all aluminum. I don't think it's ever gonna wear out. Doesn't matter if it does. If you call me if something's wrong, I really take care of my stuff. So I like this right here. So when I'm running, my handle has a place to stay. It's not down here. It's not over the side. When I'm ready to come up here and grab it, I'm not looking for it. It's not underneath my pedal. It's not flipping around back here in my rods. It's just some really good pluses about where this stays. So once it's here, you're good to go. So you can come up to your trolling motor. It's a nice fluid motion. You can grab it, you can pull it, you can snap it free. You can pick up your motor with your hand. Don't try and pick everything up with this cable. I mean, you can, but I like to gently put this bad boy in the water. So it just makes for a great spot for that. And when it's in the water, you've got your other handle holder. It's right here. If I can turn it a little bit. It's right here.
right here on the side. So once this is in the water, that handle has another place where it can go. And it'll stay right there while your motor's in. It's right here where you're ready to pick it up. So it's a great little addition for it. All right guys, so I got my other little handle holder right here. Quarter inch hole, drilled it straight through. There's a little separation plastic from the mold here in the back and you wanna miss that so you can get your bolt in. So once you get this here, now your handle has a perfect spot, not off the side, not under your graph, just a perfect spot for you to grab it, get your handle, pull your trolling motor, and then when it's all the way back on the boat, you've got a place to store it up on the top of the motor. So it's just a really good place right here for this. All right guys, so we got everything done. I just wanted to brag again on this little sleeve. This little guy really took me a long time to get the measurements, get the clearances, get the tolerances really close so that there was no drilling in the top of this motor. You don't have to drill it. It is a little son of a gun to put that E-clip on, but you can do it. I did it, you can do it. But it really stops this wear. This part of this motor from the factory, you can file your fingernail on it. And so what that does is it takes this coating off of this cable, and when it does, it starts cutting this in half. It takes a year, maybe less if you're a really heavy user, but it will do it but it will not do it with this sleeve. This is a patent pending product. I love it. I designed it. It's perfect for this motor. So thanks guys. Hope it really helps out. Awesome motor too. We'll see you on the water. All right guys, real quick. It's starting to rain here pretty good and you can probably hear that. So you got your, your handle, it goes right up inside, a little Allen screw on each end. You don't have to put any Loctite on that unless you feel you need to. If you tighten it up pretty snug, it's not going anywhere. There you have it. This is just rod wrap is all it is. You can cut it to length by the 12 inch one foot piece, cut it to length. And I leave it about a quarter inch longer so it covers the ends real nice. So there you go guys, that completes this bad boy and hopefully you like it, hopefully it helps out. Thanks, see you on the water.